Hi there, my name is Eric Saracidis, and I am the owner of a local mushroom company here in Jackson County, Southern Oregon. And today I am going to show you how to assemble a home air filter. It's basically inspired by the type of filters that I use in my mushroom cultivation lab. The basic materials are a duct fan, and this is a, a style of duct fan called uh, commonly a squirrel cage blower. You can also use a inline uh, fan as well. I got a standard uh, home air conditioning uh, 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 air filter and a box cutter, crescent wrench, socket wrench, four bolts, four nuts, and four washers some duct tape, and a magic marker. I went ahead and, uh, for the sake of time, have pre-cut our plastic tote here. I was able to find this at a local uh, store for about six bucks, and this is an 18 gallon size plastic tote. So what I've done is I've cut a hole in the lid. This is where we're gonna mount the filter and where the air is actually gonna pass through the top of it. And then I went ahead and I cut a hole for the intake that matches up with the exhaust portion of this duct fan. So I'll go ahead and just show you how I matched it up here. I went ahead and I just lined it up toward the bottom. I took my marker and I marked the four holes. And then I went ahead with the box cutter and just kind of went into the areas that had been marked, twisted, and made the holes that our bolts will connect to. Once I had that done, I went on the inside of the box and I went and, and basically just kind of eyeballed where this rectangular shape would be cut out. And I, I drew four lines and then again, used the box cutter to cut that. So once those are cut, we can go ahead and start assembling our filter. So I'm going to put this aside for just a moment while we get the filter attached to our lid. So each of these filters has generally an arrow that demonstrates which way the airflow is moving. Again, it's moving out and through the top. So we want to line it up that way. And a 16 by 20 uh, inch air filter seem to line up just perfectly uh, with the dimensions of this lid. Again, I'm just estimating here. If you wanted to get fancy with it, you could definitely pull out your measuring tape and make sure it's exact. And in general, I would try to just get this as flush as possible. I'll, I'll actually Go ahead and line this up first with the filter, fold it back. Make a corner to corner here. Yep. And then kind of just follow that seam. We don't want to leave any air pockets that are going out. And you can take your time and make this as pretty as you want. For the sake of the demonstration, I'm going to go down and dirty here, we're gonna be fast. got our filter attached to the lid. I'm going to set this aside and we're going to mount our duct fan to the outside of this tote. So again, just kind of lining it up here. I'm going bolts. And then the important part for, for me in this process is ensuring that my washer goes on the inside of this so that the weight of my blower fan doesn't, um, doesn't strip out
the plastic wall of the tote. So I'm going to go ahead and just hand tighten each of these four. Once you've had each of these hand tightened, you can use your socket wrench and a crescent wrench to come in and tighten all four of your bolts. And now we're going to attach our lid. Now what I'm interested in is trying to limit the amount of airflow that'll come through the cracks here. So I'm gonna take uh, one large piece of duct tape on each of these long sides and two short pieces to kind of hold the area near the handle so it's secure. This will just increase the efficiency and limit the, the loss that you experience. I generally like to uh, orient it standing this way just so that the weight of the fan is leaning down on the filter. If there are little ones helping to assemble or operate these, please be careful of the box cutter and the blade as well as the intake of this fan as it's moving. We don't want little hands getting in here. If you wanted to take an extra safety precaution, you might even take a piece of this uh, of a second filter and put it over the intake to prevent people from getting their hands caught in it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and turn this on now. You'll be able to hear and see some of the airflow. So it is moving the air not super fast. The idea of this process is to disperse the air over the most amount of surface area possible. By doing that, we're able to maximize the amount of flow through this fan. I want to thank my friends at ScienceWorks for inviting me out today. Again, this is Eric Saracita signing off. Feel free to comment or ask any questions.